So welcome to another very interesting HackerRank challenge. We are going to be solving this today and this is called Sales by March. The difficulty is easy as you can see right here and we are going to be solving it right now. It's a very interesting problem and let's see, it says there is a large pile of socks that must be paid by color. Given an array of integers representing the color of each sock, determine how many pairs of socks with matching colors there are. Now I must tell you that sometimes these write-ups, these word problems can also be a problem. So this is basically a simple problem or a simple challenge. I'm going to explain it in my whiteboard. So we have a series of items. Let's say we have, let me take a uh, blue pen. We have A is equal to one, two, one, two, one, three, two. And N is equal to how many of them? Seven. So basically they are trying to ask us what are the matching numbers there? How many of them are there? So if you have one and you have one again, so we have this is has a match and we have two, we have two, we have another two, so two works, but we have three, so we don't have a match. Now, if we have, for instance, we extend this list to include another number, let's take for instance, two. In this case, we now have two, this one, this two matches with this two, and this two matches with this two. And so we have two now appear twice. And that is what makes it a bit interesting. So let's solve it. And in a problem like this, it's always, you're always going to use another data structure, which is a hash table. So this hash table, we are going to use it to be keeping the counts of the numbers we see. So once there is a match that occurs, we encrypt, we, once we see an item, we add it to the table after checking to make sure that it's not in the table already. But if it's in the table already, we simply increment the count. So let's go. So at this point, we see one, we add it one, one. Now we see two, we add it here, two appear once. We see one, we now go to see one once again, we change it to two, two, we've seen it before, we change it to two, one. Again, we now change this to three. And we see three, we add it here, we change it to, to what? To one. Two, we change this to three and two again to four. Now, if you return the counts uh, right here, you, you see that we are going to get it a bit wrong. So what we are going to be do, doing is once we see a match, so what it means is once we see an item, for instance, we, we come to this list and we see another three, like this, what we are going to do, we now check that we've seen three before, it means we have a match and we are going to increase our count to equal to, count plus is equal to one. So what it means is that if I'm going to use this method at this time, so what we are going to do is this, we check for one, one is already there, it's not, uh, one is not there, so the first time this list starts, one is not there, so we add it, one, count one, two, we add it, two, count one, we have one. We now increment our counts, so we have a count here, so we have inc increment our count to one, because we found one and it's already there. So if it's already there, it means that it is now two. We increment our counts to one and we pop it from the list because we no longer need it because we've seen the two of them. If we come back again later on and we see one, we add it, add it one. And later we see it again, it becomes two and we increment our count by one and we pop it from the list. So once anything becomes two is a pair, we increment our count because it's more or less we are doing count pairs. So let's see how the code looks like. So let me write it exactly the way I explained it and you can see that it's quite interesting. So basically, we are going to use Python and it says we are going to start 
uh, create a new hash table. I'm going to call it table. Uh, table in Python, you use a dictionary to implement hash tables. And we are going to set our count to zero. And the next thing we want to do is to now iterate the list of items. So I'm going to say for elements in the array we are given, if element in table, the element is in the table, we simply increment our count because this is the second time we have seen this element in this table. So we increment our count and pop it from this table using table.pop and specify the element we want to pop. So in this case, we found a pair, we increment our count, we increment our count by one, and then we throw it out because we, know we no longer have any need for it. The next thing I'm going to say else, we simply add it to the table, uh, to the hash table by saying table element is equal to one. And at this point, we are done with this loop and we simply return count. So this is basically how to solve this problem. I think it's quite intuitive. So you simply need to take some time to get your head around it. I'm going to run the code and then uh, submit to see if everything works fine. You can see that it passes the two test cases right here. So let me go ahead to submit and let's see if everything works. And all the test cases Right, so you can see that all the test cases pass. Uh, congratulations, you can see right here. So I'll be stopping here and we'll see in the next challenge. Meanwhile, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also like, like and share my video and leave me a comment in case you have any challenge or you need some support from me. I remain time on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.